So this is a brand new guide for um, porting WWE 2K22 and 23 models to um, AW5 Forever. Process would work the same mostly for the other 2Ks except for the textures. They format them differently in previous 2Ks. Um, this uh, tutorial will cover porting the model and hair physics. Not face animations because I'm the type of person who prefers them to be perfect. So I don't do the transferring of weights to get subpar ones. There are going to be guides out for that if you want to do that. But in this tutorial we're getting rid of them. So I have a Python script in this tutorial that will convert textures for you. you can grab, to install it you can grab Python from the official website and then Peaks audio tool has a guide for setting up Python in your path variable which I'll link in my description and then once you got that set up you'll want to open command prompt and type pip install pillow to install the pillow library for my texture script and then make sure pip install numpy is also installed and then you'll see it install Python on your machine if you set up the path variables correctly. So once that's done we can get started. So I'm going to port probably AJ Styles I believe I decided on for this tutorial. So we're going to just go find his ID from the PWM wiki. Six ten. So we're going to navigate to WWE Cake Tools. And we're going to look for AJ. I'm going to go back to my modding folder. Copy the path. I have not rehearsed this tutorial at all, so we are. Um, gonna be going as we go and in fixing any errors we encounter in real time. Did I read the number wrong? Or? There he is, 610 AJ Styles. So we're just going to port his default attire here. So first we need the base model. So I'm just going to make a folder here called 2K model. Copy that. Hit the base model folder. Click the extract button. Paste the path. Okay, do the same for textures. Going to paste that inside the base model folder. Uh, default attire here. Paste the path, textures, default attire, done. And then we are done with cake tools. So now we are going to grab my script for textures. I have two versions. So the first version here, convert to DDS TGA. This will convert them all to TGA and split the normal maps and everything into separate files called Metal and Roughness if you want to edit them separately, bring them into Substance Painter or something like that. However, the second version of the script does an extra step. Give it time. Um, it packs the normal and the um, sorry, the metal and the roughness into an ORM file for AEW, and it also fixes the uh, roughness value if your model is too uh, shiny in AEW, it does that automatically. But it always misses the last one on the file, so just delete that. We're going to use the ORM one today, since it's a quick um, learning tutorial and not really focused on perfection. So we're going to run that here. Another neat thing it does is it takes the um, these rough these combinations Ryan flow 
makes an ARM for extracts the alpha and then it also makes a normal map from the flow but what this script does not do is um, create hair color textures and merge opacity textures with color so we'll have to do that manually but right now we're good we're just going to open up AJ in Blender so if you don't know how to do that go PWM W2K tools and scripts modeling object oh it's broken Oh, there we go. So download the uh, model scripts for Blender and install them. So we're going to go to import 2K23, copy the path, start with the base model. And we're going to assign the materials while we import. So first for the body it's going to be really easy. We grab the main body mesh and then we go to materials. Just leave the name as it is for now. Import, open I mean, and then go to our textures TGA folder, body color, switch to material view and you have it. So now we're going to apply that to all the items that use that texture, which is teeth, mouth bag, and the other body. And then select the main body as the last one, control L, link materials. And then if we localize, we'll see that it's been applied to those objects. <clears throat> uh, we can delete the eye overlay because I don't like transferring those over. You can keep those if you want, if you know what they are. Eyelash. And then if you want, you can go to the shading here and import that alpha. But that's not necessary just for Blender. It's just for your visual help go down here to blend mode alpha hash now he has eyelashes then we go to the head import the head texture then we're gonna select eye crongle select head control link materials we're gonna save him because we don't want to lose him AJ styles and then we're just going to do the same thing with the eye here. Okay, so that's our base model done. So now we want to turn it off for now and import the attire and do the exact same thing we did there. But it's going to be a little different with the hair and the, the uh, beard. So, so we have all these Lambert meshes. And what these are is, AJ is a bit complicated because he has a bunch of different um, options. So when he takes, when he comes out of the arena, he has the hood on, which is his own model. And then when he takes it off, it becomes a different model. So he has different models here that will work out but for now let's start applying the textures tops so attire textures tops phenomenal there we go tights shoes knee pads right elbow pads right I'm just gonna pause while I apply all these materials because you get the idea so I got all the materials applied here except for the hair the beard I hid the Lamberts for now 
and I just need to figure out this jacket stuff. So for me personally, my AJ is not going to have the hood up. If you want to put the hood up in your mod while following this, you should go ahead. But I think it's just easier for me right now not to have it. So we see it's called. If we go to the green triangle here, we see it's called M hood up. Delete it. And then we these Lamberts. Um, they're physics driver meshes. These tell the cloth how they're going to animate, and we're going to bring these into Unreal Engine for our mod. But what we've got to do is just keep the ones we actually need. So, as if we go in here, we can see all their names. So, entrance, hood up, I don't need that. Uh, where is it? S hood up, don't need that. And, and hair entrance. Okay. So, I got rid of the hood one. So now we got two jackets left, and that's just half the jacket and the hood. That's good, so I'm going to combine both of those with Control J. Actually, never mind, I'm going to undo that. Not yet, no joining yet. Um, we got three hairs here. So we got M hair, M hair hood up, and M hair entrance. I'm just going to stick with the standard M hair and delete the other two. We got one beard here, so that's good. And now let's investigate the Lamberts. We got S hair entrance. I deleted hair entrance, so that's gone. We got S hair entrance hood up. I deleted the hood up, so that's gone. We got S hair, which we need. And S jacket, which we need. So we got the two we need. So, I'm going to assign these their own materials that because they need to be if we want to add clothing data to them. So I'm going to call this Jacket Lambert. Just double checking. Yeah, that's Jacket. And this one will be Hair Lambert Material. The material names are relevant. So, in regards to these um, hair, we need to make a texture. So first off, if you don't know what color they actually are by memory you can hold Z go into solid mode hold control tab go into vertex paint mode and you will see the color that is painted for 2k so we know AJ hair, AJ's hair is pitch black so making the texture will be simple first off we gotta merge the opacity and the uh, color texture so we're gonna start with the eyelash to do that so we're gonna open Photoshop so with Photoshop open, I'm going to drag these two in. Eyelash color. I'm going to control A, copy the alpha channel. Go into channels here. Hit create alpha channel. And then just paste that in. Go back to control to RGB. And hit save. So close all. That's done. The alpha is now in the eyelash. And now we go to the attire folder. And now we have to do it for the hair and beard. So I'm just going to copy the combinations file, call it combinations color, open that up, fill it with black, open the alpha, control A, copy, alpha channel, paste, save, close all. Now we're going to do the same with the hair. Hair call, put throw that in, fill it with black, open the alpha, copy it, save. So to make sure that all worked, we're going to now import those textures into Blender. So we're going to oh in case you didn't know how I was doing that, um we're just gonna make a new material called beard. Click the circle, press T for image texture and then this pops up. Yeah, I, I forgot that's not common knowledge. So combinations color. Then we're gonna boost the roughness so it's not shiny. And then blend mode ha alpha hash, go into shading tab. If you hit period on your numpad, you zoom in, 
drag the alpha into the alpha node and there you have a beard so that's how we know our texture is now working correctly I'm going to do the same with the hair hair color alpha hash drag in the alpha now if you want to get rid of the Lambert from sight just for now you can go to the material um, go down the alpha put it to zero you get the same result and if you just want to do that on the other one too but do not join um, if you've been following my tutorial so far do not join any meshes just yet um, this is how we're gonna do it so first off we're gonna collapse this bring back the base model so we see it all then we're going to collapse all of these expand I mean and then first from the top of base model all the way to the bottom shift click to select them all then we're going to go into the scripting window and run a few scripts I made with chat GPT um, we're gonna run no not that we're gonna run un, rename UVs this will allow us to join all the objects without issues so open that press play then we're going to run remove skinned which will rename our objects for us and if we go back you see they all have decent names now and as well as their materials do not have that skinned suffix either so now AJ is sort of prepped so what we're going to do is select tops all the way to combinations hit control J doesn't seem to be any issues with the joining there hit the wrench on him to get to the modifier menu control A to apply it um, hold click on the object hold shift alt bring it out to the side to deparent it and delete the skeleton then we're going to do the same thing with the body here control J there it is um, wrench apply deparent delete the skeleton then we're just going to move the gear into the same collection delete that collection now we're going to need um, an AEW model to uh, to transfer all the weights from so we're gonna open new model materials engine 4 4.27 copy the AES key I provided in my uh, RAR file hit OK AES key OK then we're gonna go find the car body because that is the uh, best weight source you can have for your mod so it's under resources models create Kara body male and then pick whatever body is closest I always do normal for now hit control X to export and now that is good so once that's done you'll see exported go to you model export game data resources models create care body mail it's in here if you've installed the PSA plugin I've linked in this video the previous one you import PSK scale down will not be checked if you have the right one paste that path normal there we go and now we got lucky here and um, AJ's hands line up if you do not get lucky and your models hands do not line up what you want to do is uh, select the armature first and then make sure only the armature is selected and then go into wireframe and then control tab to go into pose mode and then you'll want to grab the two shoulder bones and hit S to scale it up or down to your model's arm size and then you'll want to 
hit, hit A to select all bones, Control A applies rest pose, and that will say this is the uh, natural state of the skeleton. So I'm going to Control Z all that, and get back to where we were. So now we have this, I'm going to create a new collection called AEW, drag, right click on the armature, select hierarchy, and drag that in there. So now we need to get these um, weights from AEW onto AJ Styles. So first we're going to start off with the base model. As you can see, the viewport's kind of messy. Select the AEW skeleton, go to this little stick man here. Viewport display, turn off in front, and I can see way more better. You can also just press H to hide it. So we're going to um, select the AJ body here. As you can see, he's still got the WWE Vertex groups. Hit the arrow, press D, delete them. We don't want any trace of them. And then we're going to select the AW mesh. Control select AJ. Hit Control tab. And go to weight paint. Go to transfer weights. I mean weights, transfer weights. If you right click, you can add it to your favorite. So when you press Q, it'll appear here. Transfer weights. Change vertex map into edge interpolated and source layers by name. And now you have all the AW weights appear here. Good so far. So we're gonna turn off the AW guy for a second. Select AJ, go into weight paint mode, and right click. And you can see shift right click will show you the bones and their weights. But if we go up here, like our last tutorial, we'll see we have face bones we don't want. It's a very messy distribution. So we're going to click the arrow, S to sort by name, and delete all the face bones by spamming enter on minus. until we get to elbows. So if you have elbow one, L, you're good. See the one before that is nose. So now we go to J head, select that in the vertex groups. And we need to go into edit mode, which is the easiest way. We'll go to lasso select. We'll go to wireframe mode. And we'll select the entire head and hit assign. Go back into weight paint mode. Go weights, press S to smooth it out and give it a few iterations. Now his head is painted. So to get the gear as close as we can to not clipping, um, we're gonna transfer, we're gonna go the gear mesh delete the WWE vertex groups, select AJ, control, select the gear, and transfer weights just again. Your settings should stay, so you shouldn't have to do anything but press the button. Um, let's check the fingers. Fingers probably mess up a little sometimes. As you can see, that weight leaks into the other finger a little bit. especially on the pinky there. So you want to, oops, you want to clean that up by control F, bringing that to zero. Um, I'm teaching you how to clean it up here, but I'm not going to do a full clean of AJ because it's for tutorial purposes. I probably won't release this mod. Um, so yeah, you just check the weights of the fingers and repaint them or use edit mode to select the verts and assign. But yeah, Adrian's gonna have a little messed up fingers in our testing, but that's fine. Because I'm just teaching you how to get it in. But yeah, to weight paint, you're just gonna change the strength here. Well, not strength, the weight here. Red equals full weight. And then obviously you can depaint. So I'm just going to add some more weight to that pinky bone. But anyway, he's fully weight painted now, so we can combine both of those objects into one.
So AJ is practically done. We delete the cob body. Drag him into the AW collection. Alt shift to parent him to the armature. Add the armature modifier. Hit control A to apply transforms. One other thing we can do is um, merge the vertices. So what, how I do that is I go into face mode by pressing three. Go uh, deselect everything. I start with the body, so head and body. We name that teeth from teeth to body, not booty, body. And then I press M, merge by distance, 2000, that's insane. And then I hide that. And then I press A and merge all the gear vertices. Alt H to unhide. And now he's merged up. So just to uh, double check, we have all the gear pieces and we have both Lambert's which will be imported and used for our hair physics um, tutorial. So now I'm just gonna, so what you wanna do is take the uh, U project I'm sending, the content folder, my RAR I'm sending in the description should have a content folder and a U project file with it. So if you just double click that, I think it should work. If not, you'll have to start a new project in Unreal called AW Fight Forever and then paste these files in that project folder. And then my settings should transfer over. Just to double check our settings here. We want pack file, IO store check, generate, chunks checked. And then under experimental here, we want allow pack chunk ID assignments checked. So make sure that's all good. Now we're going to import AJ over a car object. So this, uh, what's it called? This project comes with the car hider, which you'll find in here. Oh, not that, don't need that. So F, F, F thousand, M thousand, and trans, this, um, texture called trans you'll need this and these materials inside are the car hider object files you should include these in your mod just in case because you know idiots download and they'll say why is my car clipping blah blah, blah. so you want to keep these in the same pack chunk as your mod so next we're just gonna find an object to replace so going back into you model Go to attires, mail, and we'll say a pair of shoes. Shoes number 10, what's that? The Omega shoes, is that what that is? So we'll just control X, extract those just to get the passing. Actually, we'll just do copy package path, notepad, paste that in. So we're going to copy this folder format. So we already have create Kara tires here. So we're going to do mail. We already have mail. Footwear. Uh, footwear. And shoes number 10. And now we're going to import AJ here. So where did it save? Did it not export? Did we forget to export as FBX? I think we did, so hit the armature. Export as FBX. Ah. Okay, yeah, so just hit the armature. Press export as FBX. Copy a file name of shoes again. Our FBX will appear beside our blend file bring that into Unreal and for skeleton select scale elite roster base mail same with the physics and create new materials blah 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 that should be all good 
first order of business is it'll make a mess as we know but first order of business is to rename the model so we don't forget that so find the pink purple armature name hit F2 paste our shoes name in now AJ replaces those shoes now we're gonna fix up this mess so first off press save it's compiling all shaders for some reason so give it a minute so my my Unreal finally finished uh, shaders. I don't know why I did that. Um, so first off, we're going to create a fold, two folders, materials and textures. Now we're going to open up the AJ model, and we're going to look at his materials. So he has um, how many skin textures? One, two, three. Yeah, so three. Head, body, eyes. So we're going to start with those. Inside the wrestler data folder, you'll find common materials. This file, MM Care Skin. We're going to right click on that, create material instance, and we'll call it MI Body. Create another one. MI Head. Create another one. And my eyes. I used to have an eye material, but it wasn't working right, so we'll just go with mine. Um, move those into our materials folder we just created. And then we're going to do hair. So he has eyelash. And my eyelash. Uh, he has beard and hair. So MI combinations. You, you don't have to name it combinations, you can name it beard if you want. MI hair. So move those into our shoes material folder. Um, now we have to do all the gear parts. So we that is stored in Kara materials. MI Kara attire. It's not M Kara attire, you want the MI one. And then we'll do all the gear parts. So, start with tops, MI tops, MI R accessory, MI L accessory, MI jacket. Oh, um, I forgot that if you're doing engines of tires for car parts, um, this is not how you do it. I would normally have deleted the jacket and brought it in and replaced the jacket and car. But I wanted to show you how to do physics on jackets and I wanted to not have to replace any more jackets since there's only like 15 in there for us to replace for entrance parts. So that's why I'm just combining it with him because it's just a teaching mod. This is not, you know. Uh, anyway, where were we? Yeah, and my jacket. And my elbow pads. And my shoes. If you ever get lost with um, what I'm talking about, um, you can Google my terminology I'm using. Like when I say to fix the fingers, you can just uh, Google you know, weight painting fingers in Blender or just general weight painting tutorials. It's not particularly easy, but it's not particularly hard either. Just practice. So where are we? Tights. The Lamberts will get their own custom material and I think that is all. So we're going to take all these instances, throw them in our shoes material. Ah, oh, fuck. Shoes. So what we're going to do is we are going to apply these materials to AJ and turn him into this marble blob for a few minutes. So combinations, hair, accessory, uh, where, did I not make one, for, oh there it is, uh, jacket, uh, elbow, Elbow pads, shoes, 
wrist, knee left, knee right, tights, and as you can see it's turning into the marble texture that these use as the default, which is not bad, it's what's supposed to happen here for now, and eyelash, and for the Lamberts, we are going to create a new material, call it M, uh, you know, driver if you want, for driver mesh, um, scroll down, tick two-sided, blend mode, translucent, pull out from opacity, type C, enter, you get a constant at zero, hit save. Now if we scroll in here, apply that material to them, and they are gone. So that is step one done of materials. Now we're going to bring in all those textures we converted earlier. So I'm going to delete the alpha, bring these in. Let's do a search for default, because we don't, uh, well, these are here, right? And then delete these two alpha. We don't need them. Check it for roughness, yeah. And then drag all those in there. Now we're going to go to our materials folder and we're going to shift select all of them, hit enter, and it will load them all up for us to edit in order. This is the most tedious part of modding this game. So we're going to ho hover over to see which one we're on, tops, and we're just going to go in order. I have actually not tested this section yet, but I added this opacity mask, so if your uh, gear object has an alpha channel, that may work as a separate mask. So tops, normal, orms go at the bottom there, and then you just keep doing that for every um, object. I'm actually not going to bore you by showing you everyone, but if a key one pops up, I'm going to show you how to deal with it. So here we have the uh, skin material finally pop up with M head. Simply just check all these boxes. Import the head textures. Oh, we can get rid of this head flush. We don't need that. And then some important notes. Um, here you can give this color a little bit of tint by enabling that. It's very heavy, so use it wisely. Um, here, this roughness max value. Um, the lower you put it, um, it's kind of inverted. The lower you put it, so 0.5, the shinier your model will come out. And the higher you put it, the less shiny it will come out. I find 1.2-ish to be a good starter point. So we're going to save that. And then we're also going to talk about the hair material here. So the hair material is built in all the uh, stuff it needs. So you just drag the hair color, and if you have an alpha channel, it'll appear automatically. If it doesn't, you do not have an alpha channel. So I'm just going to apply all those textures. Oops, I did that wrong. Orms at the top on this one. For eyes, I just leave the normal and orms blank. The game will use the dummy texture it has for that. So, so now that I've completed all my materials, AJ should be having all his textures back on the preview model. So that looks pretty decent to me. So we're just going to hit save, and we're going to test this version of him in the game. Save all. Hit OK. It's going to save everything. Now we're going to clean up our folder. So, shift click to everything, find the mesh, unclick it, delete, should have no references, locks, hit delete, and save all again just in case it did something. And now we're going to assign this a pack chunk, so I'm going to use 177 for this tutorial. So 177, save. 177, save, control A to select all, 177, save, and then remember I said to include the car hider, so we will go into body, go into the female material, hit remove from all chunks first, 
and then 177. Remove from all chunks, then 177. And finally, on the uh, trans texture here, which is responsible for making those materials transparent. And we are going to cook our project by going to package, windows, I have that folder set up in my last video, save package, and we're just going to wait now. So mine is finished packaging, uh, packaged, Windows No Editor, AW Fight Forever, content, packs, here it is. Uh, 177, that's our mod, Z, A, J, P, uh, and now we go back into our mods folder, paste that in there, hit the custom launcher test out the mod. Let's hope it works. So going into call, let's see if it works. So we're gonna go to footwear and find those shoes that we replaced. There we go. So we're gonna remove everything else. And as you can see, there's AJ working fine. Um, and make sure we have to remove that hair. So I'm just going to quickly put in his info here. I ain't gonna be saving this guy anyway. Um, yeah, remove the hair from here. Go back, and there's AJ. So, now we have to add physics, which I will pause the video, take a short break, and get right to that. So, I have returned, and we are going to add hair physics. So, first off, I'm gonna delete AJ. Go delete the mod. Then we're going to open F model, which you can get from fmodel.app. Um, to set it up for AEW, it's really simple. You go directory, selector, um, click add undetected game, type AEW, fill in the packs folder, press the plus button, hit OK. Then we go down here to AES, fill in the AES key, hit OK. Then we go up here, change the engine version to 427, hit OK, and then F model should restart and you should see all your packs. It's just gonna load up all of them. And to get hair physics on AJ, we need to reference somebody who has similar but not needingly exact hair as AJ. We just need to um, reference their physics physics assets so the uh, the hair and cloth know how to behave basically. Um, so first off, we're going to find someone who has sh uh, shoulder length hair. It doesn't need to be wrapped around the same as AJ. Um, models, wrestler data. I'm just scrolling through here, picking someone I see that rings a bell. Um, You know what, we'll just go with Matt Hardy. He doesn't go in the front, but it's fine. Um, so first things first is we want to copy the path for the physics asset and paste it in our notepad and recreate that path. So we're gonna get the folder name for Matt Hardy, go into wrestler data, make a new folder with that name. Then we're gonna go to the elite roster base mail folder and drag the phys asset and hit copy here right and then we're going to copy the physics asset name and rename it to that now we have matt hardy's a dummy of matt hardy's physics in here so we're going to right click pack chunk make sure that's in zero because we do not want it in our mod 
Okay, now we can get started on making the cloth. So we're going to go back to AJ. We're going to double click Matt Hardy's model, F model, and close the model viewer. And here you get the uh, cloth settings for the hair or whatever. So he only has one setting here, but if you view others, they have different settings. Like we can go Matt Jackson here. And we can see he has some different settings. So we'll actually take his settings for hair just to show you how they look in F model and how to convert them. So first off we have to paint our hair. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the materials from both Lambert meshes so they come back into view. So you can see it's right there. And if you need to hide the hair and the jacket, we can do that by giving those the driver material instead. And now the actual hair is gone for now. So make sure you have the Lambert itself uh, selected. Not the hair, the Lambert. Um, so it's hard to select. Right click and hit create clothing data. Call it anything you want and call it hair S and select Matt Hardy's physics file and we'll hit create. And I'll create clothing data on AJ Styles. If you can't select this hair, make sure section selection on there is turned on and you'll be able to select things by their item. So next we will go down the window, open clothing, and if it's up here like that you can just drag it in there. Select hair S and then we scroll down here. And here is where our cloth config from F model comes into play. So here we have collision radius stiffness 1.5, 0 0.5. So 1.5, 0 0.5. Friction is set to 0 0.5, I believe it's set. Up here it is friction 0 0.5. Linear drag is um, 262, and so is angular drag. 262 and we have gravity at 3 and thickness at 3. So gravity 3, thickness 3. It's save. Now we have to paint on to the Lambert what is going to move. So I start activate cloth paint. Uh, I'm going to remove his jacket because that is in the way. So driver. Hit the Lambert again, activate cloth paint, now we can see it. So how I start off is scroll all the way down, go to brush. I start at a value of 30 because that's usually a good number for hair, 30, 35. And then what I do is I just paint the bottoms. The Unreal viewport is a real bitch to navigate so don't worry if this takes a while or you get up lost in space, it's not truly hard. It just takes a while to wrangle and figure out how to tame the camera in this. Um, so we want the top to still have some pink. Now I don't like how there is some gray in this here. So I'm just going to paint at zero to bring it back down. <clears throat> 30. And then what I do is I hit smooth and then smooth mesh. So we have the top pink and some gradient going down to our 30. So deactivate cloth paint and now we're going to go back to the hair to give it, I believe this was the hair, its material back. Yep. And then we are going to once again give the hair Lambert its driver material back. So now we're going to click on the real hair, right click apply clothing data hair S. And now you should see something happen. Um, that's not supposed to happen. So I believe those Matt Jackson values or Nick Jackson values we got were wrong. So we're just going to go back to Matt Hardy and just reset all the values. So we're going to deactivate cloth paint and reset all these values we change. See if that changes anything. So all his changes is collision thickness to 1.5. So we're just going to deactivate see if that changes anything. 
a little bit but not by much so it is probably our paint so we are going to delete the paint entirely and try it again so select the Lambert create clothing data hair Matt Hardy create apply cloth paint you can't see it because it is invisible there we go um, I'm going to start with 25 this time and just paint the absolute ends of his hair. So like that. And then smooth it out a bit. And deactivate cloth paint. And hit the hair. Apply clothes and data hair one. See what that does. Okay, that's way better. There's nothing freaking out. So, you cannot, um, one thing I want to point out is with this physics system, you cannot have strands separate. They will always clump like this at some point. Um, hair bones is the only way to get hair to separate, and this game does not use that system. So your hair, or your jacket, or whatever, it will always be clumping. So now let's get started on the jacket. So, so with the jackets and other cloth items, I like to do a bit of a gradient paint. So what I'll do is I will uh, uh, create clothing data from section, call it jacket, and apply it to Matt Hardy once again. And then we will go and paint it. So what I do is I start at 100 this time instead of 30. And then I'm going to do 10. And then I just paint the bottom of it with 100. So I just do that. And then I throw it down to 50. And paint the next half with 50. So it's hard to see because it's clipping with his body. You can give things the driver mesh if you want to. The driver material if you want to hide them. So there we go. And then I'm just going to give it a smooth. There we go. So now that that's there, I'm going to deactivate the cloth paint. And switch the materials once again. So where does this jacket go here, I believe? Select the real jacket and apply the clothing data. And there you have it, it's wiggling. So the only true way to test these physics is to test them in game. See there's a bit of a wonkiness going on here. So we're just gonna try and clean that up by brushing in zero. And maybe that'll help. Oh no, that's just the clipping from his uh, body, I believe. I uh, know that helped. Okay. So yeah, wonky things like that, you just want to check over. But the true test comes in game, so we're going to have to package and test him up again. So I'm just going to package him here, and then I'm going to pause the video until we can test him. Got AJ all packaged up. Rename him ZAJP. Go back in your mods folder, paste it, launch the game. So now we check on AJ, see if he got the physics working. And there he is, nothing deforming. And if we shake him, you can see all the physics are physicking. Um, best way to test, however, going into moveset and practicing, doing a few runs and rolls. So we're just going to hit practice. And as you can see, it is working. Not maybe perfectly or realistically, but working. And if you don't like it, you can just continue tweaking the values in the um, 
the painting, the paint weights, and play with the cloth settings until you find something you like. You can look up tutorials for Unreal Cloth. Um, when it comes to clipping, you can try referencing a bigger person's physic asset, and maybe it won't clip. Um, but yeah, see, it's working perfectly, and that's pretty much this whole tutorial. It's just getting AJ into this engine and having him appear with physics. So I, as I said, I won't be releasing this AJ. It's for uh, you to follow along and do it yourself, and then you can do anyone you want. Um, to it, I'm just gonna show you quickly though how to adjust some shine. Um, say I want his knee pads to be shinier. I will open the knee pad arms in Photoshop. And the green channel I will make darker by just using the level slider. And so let's say 0.3, save. Um, 0.3, save. And then the hair was a bit too shiny, so let me check that out. Um, I'm just going to invert that. No, let's fill that with white. Let's see what happens. Because I, I don't, the hair on this game has weird roughness, so I'm going to check on that. And then we're just going to select all, reimport. As you can see, uh, give it a second. As you can see, the hair texture imported, the knee pads are different. Save all. Package. And test again. So yeah, take a look at AJ. Knee pads are now shinier and the hair is not. So yeah, that roughness channel is what you want to edit. For shine, the next channel under it, the blue channel, will control the metalness of objects. But yeah, as you can see, he's fully working. Even his uh, fingers that we complained about aren't that big of a deal. Um, to stop clipping of the gear, like you'll want to delete his hands in edit mode in the blender before you join the objects. Well, actually, after everything's done, you'll want to separate the body and then delete the hands, join them back, export. But this is... All you need to know to just get your character in the game with physics. And if you get stuck on anything, I guess let me know. I might open a Discord server for my patrons for help. Stuff like that. But yeah, um, hope you figure it out.